for July, August, and September. And then we're going to multiply that times the labor rate. Once again, the, the problem is going to have to give you a labor rate here. We're going to say it's $14 according to the problem, 14 and once again, in real life, of course, we'd have to come up with the labor rate in some way as well. And it might have to be some type of estimate. So we're going to say it's going to cost us uh, on this estimation $14 per hour. So 14 and 14. Once again, remember that when we think about a, a problem like this, we usually are going to be given the uh, rate in hours. So if, if again, if, you, if it's a problem that's given you how many minutes, it takes to do a certain task you're going to have to do some type of conversion most likely and that will give us our labor in dollars so that means that if we if it's going to take nine thousand uh seven ninety three hours then we're going to multiply that times fourteen dollars per hour to give us the uh, dollar amount of one thirty seven ninety nine same thing for august we're going to say it's going to take 10,000 hours times $14 per hour means we have 140,000. We could copy this formula across. I'm just going to do it a few times just to get the calculation of the formula in. This equals the 10,290 times the dollars per uh, hour. And we could sum them up uh, two different ways here. I'm going to sum up the total hours for the quarter equals the sum of the total hours for the quarter for July, August, and September. And that'll give us 30,000 uh, 1,043 hours for the quarter. If we multiply those hours times, of course, the rate per hour, the budget for the quarter in dollars, 420,599. That should tie out if we add up the dollar amount for July, August, and September, which is 420,599. So now we can continue on to the factory overhead.